include now this one I'll let you know when we need it and we're gonna go TL help 32 and this will be to find our process and you need to use this because if you don't um, well our other option would be to find the window and we're not gonna go there because just there's no point in me explaining this to you because I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about when we do that so then we're gonna go using namespace STD now STD like I said on the console trainer provides a variety of functions and even though we did STD colon colon before then um, like this this time we don't need to do that because it's a very simple application and we're not confusing anything so we're gonna then um, start by creating our global variables so char file to inject equals and now we're not ass assigning a size because we're just creating our name here a cube a c make sure it's exactly as I've got mine well it doesn't really matter it, it matters when we do our DLL in the end so that's our, our DLL that's what we're going to name it later on um, and then we want to do well I'm not going to name it that actually I'll name it something else but then we'll change it and then we'll go char uh, process so remember whatever name you use here we're going to need to declare our DLL or just change it later on it doesn't matter process name equals um, let's do that and then AC client dot exe now that that's what comes up when you run the uh, salt cube game so as I said if you come in here out of nowhere make sure you've watched the first tutorial and you download the game um, and whatever files else I asked you to so then we're going to do a type def type def this will be for our library later on type def and you don't actually need to know what any of this does because I don't know what some things do um, and the reason for that is because it's an injector some people most of the time just use um, application injectors like uh, I use some guys I don't know what it's called now actually but if you google DLL injector you'll find loads of nice applications for it so FP load load library library and then we're gonna go there and then char and put an asterisk there don't forget that and put semicolon there to close that make sure that's okay let's do a quick run it will, it will give us an error it doesn't really matter though because we haven't done our main but that's fine so we're going to do our main now int main and if you didn't haven't done C++ before as I'm sure most of you have main is where our program starts basically so we're going to go d word process id equals null um, then say all in capitals process entry 32 PE 32 so that's P for the process entry equals and now uh, for this part I am going to credit Mr. Nucleon on Stack Overflow because um, well it's not here yet but it's the next part because um, basically I was looking for the window of um, a soul cube before, and you can't do that because the game has its own prompt window. And I wasn't doing, and I was doing that, so it wasn't always injecting. And by looking for the process on Windows Task Manager, then I found exactly um, by going through here and looking through all the processes, I pinpointed acclient.exe, and then I injected to it. That way, um, the injection always works without fail. So, uh, and what we're going to write here is going to go size of and now we're going to do size of process all in capitals again process entry 32 and then close that oh, that's okay so open uh, sorry that was a wrong one this one should be a normal bracket so I hope you guys can see this well I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can have a better look hopefully that will help out and then the next thing we're going to do is going to do a handle all in capitals again because it's the Windows thing. H proc snap, and this is for our. Uh, let me think. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think this is going to be for getting our process. So, oops, my chair just fucking <laughs> fell back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So while, so we're going to create our loop here. So first thing we're going to do is create a loop that says whilst the um, process hasn't been found we keep looking we keep looking non-stop um, so I'll show you in a minute how it works so system CLS now as I said earlier on the console trainer if you were here basically 
CLS is apparently a bad thing to use but due to the simplicity we've got here we are using CLS so searching for now what this is going to do is going to display the stuff on our screen right process name and what we're saying here is we're saying we're going to print out saying searching for and then process name acclient.exe so we're telling the person so if you do this and then give it to a friend then they'll know kind of what they need to do so we'll say searching for acclient.exe um, that way they'll know oh hang on searching for the game so let me load my game up um, so we do that make sure uh, searching for and then just you can put a little couple of dots here like for loading kind of thing because that way we tell them that you know we're constantly trying to search for it until we find it and that's what's going to happen so until we found the game we're just going to keep searching for it that way people don't have to keep restarting the uh, injector and then we're going to go see out uh, make sure your game is running that seems fair enough so if they haven't got the game running and they want to run the injector then and then L is to end the line so that way they're not all on the same line um, that way um, you'll be like oh, alright my game isn't running so I'm gonna run it you know just a simple um, you know just for a good alright interface anyway so you know we're not just expecting us to use it we might give it to a friend to test it out and um, as I said on my um, console trainer one if you guys want to send me what you do out of this um, so once again if you want to send me if you do it for another game like um, I don't know anything really any simple game like uh, Crossfire I've heard of something like that I haven't hacked for that game yet anything like that if you do it and then you want to share then just send it and uh, maybe I'll put some links for everyone to see who's completed stuff and uh, just so people know they can actually complete this successfully and um, I'll be I'll be glad to test it out I'll download the game if um, if it isn't too bad to download and I'll test it out for you that's always fun so getting on with this so create tool help this is what I um, think it what's his name um, nucleon for because this is very nice piece of code that helped us pinpoint the process so just follow create tool help 32 create tool help 32 yeah and help is a small um, font to help and then you say th all in capitals th32 cs underscore snap process snap process oops process all in capitals and then comma that I'm trying to figure out why it isn't accepting that function I'll figure out in a second so I might have done a small mistake there so each product snap equals create tool help 32 snapshot that seems alright to me so we'll find out in a second if there's anything wrong with that when we run it actually we'll run it now create tool why is that not found create tool help I've included tool help create tool help 32 did we do 32 yeah we did snapshot snapshot is in capitals create tool help I'll find out in a second god sakes um, let's just find this out I'm gonna do a quick create tool help snapshot uh, do, do, do. what did I do wrong here terrible stuff create tool yeah it does recognize that and it does recognize that one so what did I do wrong I'm sure you guys have seen this by now create tool capital capital tool help 32 snap oh sorry 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 it's big s yeah so it's, it's a small s sorry it's not like separate words so snapshot there you go apologies on that um, and then we're saying here we're saying if process uh, 32 first uh, there you go there's a handle so that's where our handle is proc snap proc snap a handle goes in there and then we're gonna say and because we're pointing to the address in memory p32 alright either that or we're passing by reference it's something like that I'm still getting the hang of this um, so do then we're gonna do a do while loop while process um, actually I like giving it a bit of space there but do while uh, process 32 next and then if you wrote that right which I didn't process 32 next what's wrong with that the hell P 
process32 next god sakes, so just type it in and it, hopefully it was an entire sense freak up proc snap and then we're going to go and pe32 and then double close that so whilst this is happening, oh there you go, it, it does know what it is um, <laughs> yeah that seems fine to me and then what we're going to say is we're going to say we're going to compare that string so if string str cmp which is for compare uh, str cmp yep that's fine I guess IntelliSense just being a piece of crap um, compare uh, p32 uh, dot cz e x e file and then we're going to say process name so what we're doing is we're comparing the um, current task being checked out on the well not on the task manager but on the list of tasks and processes basically we're checking out and we're saying oops saying does it equal process name and if you look up here that's process name so is it equal to acclient.exe if so we found it so we stop looking so we say process id equals p32 oops 32 dot um, th32 process id d okay is that a capital id did I declare this did I declare this so process id no it's a small d isn't it uh, process id so it is a small d okay uh, process id actually no it's a big d because I think that's the way the um, the thing's been declared on Windows. Uh, and then we'll break, we leave the loop, basically. So break out that loop. Um, break. <laughs> Seems fine to me. Let's do a quick F5 on this. Uh, did, did that not close? What's wrong with the. Um, yeah, that closed just fine. What's wrong with this? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So just close that. Let's press F6 to make sure. P32. So what do we do wrong? P32. Dot Seizure and we cannot convert from what are you talking about? This is fine. So process ID ID equals P thirty two dot TH thirty two process ID TH thirty two process ID and ID capitals here. What's wrong with that? That's weird. Oh my god, I'm such a noob. Look at that, that's terrible. Alright, can I convert from the constant char? So P I'm just making sure what's wrong with this. So if it's not equal to CZ EXE file, CZ EXE file, process name. Just checking this out, having a look. Um, <laughs> the fuck did I do wrong here? Okay guys, I found the error. So, um, this is something I forgot to, um, well I didn't really forget, I mean I didn't know this error was going to happen when I was copying the code. But basically, when you're declaring certain strings, there will be an error that will come up later on. And what you need to do because of that is, because um, that error will affect pretty much every uh, char array or string. You need to go into here, so view, solution explorer, let's get our solution. And right click on your solution here, so my DLL inject and go to properties. And from there, Select your character set, so yours will probably be on use Unicode character set, and then choose use multibyte character set, because that will help us on our strings, and then that way we don't have to put like else before our our char arrays and so on. So that should be fixed pretty much. Now continue on. So we didn't type anything wrong, which is a good thing. That's always good, especially when it's simple code like this. Um, the hard stuff is about to come when we do our our actual DLL, but until then we'll be fine. So while yeah, we've done that and P3. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the next thing you do after your while loop, uh, so after a while loop, you close this. So then you say sleep uh, 1,000 seconds. Do you do sleep 1,000 seconds? No, I think that's during our while loop, isn't it? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so what we do is we put it here. So we say um, sleep. Uh, is that a capital? Yes, a capital S, sleep, and then choose the number of sec uh, milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is a second. So what we're doing here is we're going through the um, 
through the loop every one second that way we keep checking every second for if the game is available if it's not